guys welcome back to another one today's video is about how we maintain healthy natural hair i'll be fixing my daughter's hair today so i'll include how i prepared her hair using a hot oil treatment before unraveling it then i'll share a very easy and quick full wash day routine for her hair plus how we deep condition and finally style it into a twist out protective style so guys as women especially from the african origin i'm sure we all have a hair story to tell from our younger years some are pleasant some not so pleasant so now that we have a lot of information at hand especially about how to care for our different hair types we can change the narrative by creating better hair stories for our daughters and for ourselves which is why i make content about homemade recipes natural remedies health and wellness in general so if you enjoy this kind of content press that subscribe button if you haven't yet and for all my new and returning subscribers you guys are my sugar spice and everything nice <laughs> guys i began by warming my organic coconut oil in a pot of water using the double boiler method which basically means adding the oil into a heat safe container and immersing it into a pot with boiling water i did that with mine i just transferred my oil into this plastic container for easier application hot oil treatments encourage hair, healthy hair growth by increasing blood flow into the scalp in this case i used mine as a pre-poo which basically means a pre-shampoo to detangle the hair and prepare it before shampooing. Pre-pooing helps soften the hair. It helps the hair strands to become more manageable while doing any type of manipulation. This includes washing and styling, thus decreasing the chance of breakage. So guys, this protective style lasted her about three weeks and her hair had become a bit dry. That's why we don't unravel it that in that dry state. There are so many products you can use to pre -poo hair. I have shared videos about that before which are natural pain-free options to detangle kids hair do check it out so here i went in to coat her hair generously and completely from roots to ends then i placed a shower cap on her hair for about three hours to help her hair absorb all the moisture it needed as i mentioned earlier her hair was quite dry so guys, this was about three to four hours after the hot oil pipu. I was unraveling her hair. She had this braided three strand twist out protective, protective style on for about three weeks. It seems to be the only hairstyle I know how to do. <laughs> I need to learn how to do cornrows for sure. It really holds for some time though. That's why I like it. Her hair is quite soft and it unraveled so quickly. So first I make us comfortable because this process will take some time with this full head of hair <laughs> and ravel her hair using a small comb then i detangle each section using my detangling brush or wide tooth comb which i feel is a holy grail when it comes to detangling hair goes without saying the hot oil people really makes it easy and pain-free for her the hair is well moisturized and soft which makes the unraveling and detangling process so much easier i've done some videos before explaining how we do this if you braid your hair or your little one's hair often, be sure to pre poo and detangle before washing it. It'll make both your lives so much easier. <laughs> I also make sure to twist each section of hair as I go to prevent it from tangling when she sleeps. So guys this was the next day after unraveling my daughter's hair i like to wash it before styling it because our hairstyles easier when wet so i was just undoing the twisted out sections i made on her hair to really get into her scalp and clean it properly i like to drench it completely using warm water as i've mentioned before where we live we have hard water which can be quite damaging to hair so i prefer using bottled water which i get from refill stations in my town Oh, 
And only remember the one that for the one who was baby. Then I go in with my shampoo. This one is a moisturizing shampoo. I like to switch them around every now and then. I use a moisturizing shampoo when her hair feels a bit dry. And uh, I prefer to use a clarifying shampoo when it feels a bit too oily or she has had on a protective style for too long to remove all the dirt and grease. So guys, I use my soft scalp brush to clean her scalp gently. I got it from Miniso here in Nairobi, Kenya. And I think it does a great job to clean her scalp. For the shampoo, I use it on her scalp only. And I rub it down to the length of her hair. Then I rinse it out completely to put on the deep treatment or the deep conditioner. A heart speed to the city streets we begin to feel the fire We rise like tall buildings As the chemicals they take us higher The night's young and it's just begun As she puts her hand in mine We wanna chase the night
guys after shampooing her hair only once and rinsing it out completely i then go on to apply my hair mayonnaise deep conditioner which is a protein treatment i section her hair to apply the deep conditioner which i coat generously on each sectioned hair i leave it on for some time then rinse it out completely it leaves her hair really soft guys and tangle free and guys I want you to note that I apply the deep conditioner in the middle section to the tips of her hair to restore back the moisture as these sections of the hair tend to dry out more often after shampooing compared to the root parts of the hair. So some people prefer not to shampoo them at all. So guys, whatever works for you or for your hair, do you. This method of washing her hair in the shower, <laughs> it has rocked for us, I tell you. I like washing her at the sink. Her hair has become too long for that. I have always done it at the sink. But since we tried this one here in the shower, <laughs> it's been great. So when she gets a bit cold, I just turn on the shower to heat her body as I work on her hair. Our mama's got to kill two birds with one stone, don't we? <laughs> So guys after we are done with the shower i dry her hair using a microfiber towel or i just let it air dry on its own i apply a leave-in conditioner then my coconut oil then i seal it in with my hair food or hair grease which contains shea butter and beeswax i then style her hair into this twist out making sure i oil and comb out each section before twisting it out I have shared a video before with the secrets that we use to juicy twist outs. Do check it out. I'll be sure to link it down below. I then repeat the process with each section of hair until I'm done with the full head of hair, which takes me about two to three hours. Taking care of natural hair is a true calling, I tell you. <laughs> Especially if it's this long and thick. <laughs> but a mama's gotta do what a mama's gotta do, right?
guys the twist out protective style is done i started with three strands to secure it then two strands these will last her for some time i just spritz them with some water then oil them to keep them looking this juicy and neat i hope you enjoyed watching today's video and you learned a thing or two if you did give me a big thumbs up don't forget to press that subscribe button if you haven't yet and turn on your post notifications also share this video with your friends and Thank you for family. watching. See you on my next one.